The most recent addition to Apple's famous ecosystem is the futuristic Apple Glass. The Future Augmented Reality AR technology, not to be confused with Virtual Reality VR, will be employed by these spectacles. It integrates the user's surrounding natural world with digital tools and activities. Virtual Reality VR, in contrast, is a fully simulated environment where users can interact with digital objects. Google and Microsoft have both made attempts to develop their own AR glasses, so Apple is hardly the only corporation to have recognized the promise of AR-capable eyewear. Google's Glass project was abandoned in 2015, largely as a result of the device's negative reception from users. Users just didn't like the design. They thought it was expensive and clumsy. In the end, the majority of consumers realized that such a device wasn't necessary, at least not right away. On the other hand, Microsoft HoloLens is still under development and might directly compete with Apple. The completely different product known as Apple VR should not be confused with Apple Glass. A mixed reality headset is also being developed by Apple, though details are scarce. A true augmented reality device is Apple Glass. The idea of augmented reality is not brand new either. Do you recall the well-known smartphone game Pokemon Go? Although it also makes use of augmented reality to draw in players and help them capture Pokemon, Apple Glass has a very different objective. They want to make it a part of your daily routine, so you can swipe through your text without looking at your phone as you consume your breakfast. It might be a fantastic creative outlet for productivity when used in conjunction with other Apple devices, such as Apple Glass, which allows you to visualize changing your home's interior. Apple claims that the idea behind Apple Glass is to project all of the data from your phone onto your face. They want Apple Glass precisely so that it can connect to an iPhone and display information like texts, emails, maps, and games across the user's field of vision. They also want everything to function properly in the Apple ecosystem. Other Apple devices are already connected to them. Apple is also considering the development of a separate app store and plans to enable third-party apps. You may buy Apple Watch and Apple TV apps in the same way. However, it gets more intriguing as we discover more about the technology behind Apple Glass. The optical sub-assembly of the Apple Glass is one such feature. In accordance with the patent application, Apple intends to use Apple Glass as an in-headset vision correction device doing away with the requirement that the user wear prescription glasses underneath their apples. According to the patent, this optical subassembly will automatically correct for people who have poor vision. The need for a new prescription will be unnecessary since devices like Apple Glass can change their optical properties on the fly. Another patent claims that Apple Glass will enable users to instantly change the environment in which objects are displayed. Similar to this, you can alter the video conference's background, applications like Microsoft Teams and Zoom, this is a feature that can be anticipated from a wearable augmented reality device. To produce a composite, Apple Glass will employ images from its camera and color range detection, after which it will digitally add virtual material. As a result, while you're looking at a wall, Apple Glass can start showing your calendar. Apple Glass will have a LiDAR scanner on its right side. Apple hasn't officially confirmed the addition of a camera to the frame though. LiDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging, is a well-known remote sensing technique that makes use of light to build a picture of its surroundings. Self-driving automobiles are where you'll normally find this kind of sensor. LiDAR is used by the sensor to create a 3D map of its surroundings. The ability of Apple Glass to monitor the environment around its wearer and enhance digital features via its display depends on this sensor. What can only be described as an immersible Google Street View is another rumored feature of the Apple Glass. The distinction is that you will virtually travel to that view and obtain a full 360-degree view of that location data derived from patents, as opposed to Google Street View, which allows you to see the street on your mobile device. It also implies that Apple might use Apple Glass to improve consumers' night vision. Depth sensors would be used to achieve this, providing the user with better spatial awareness in low-light conditions. It will have a 52-degree field of view and 47 ppi resolution, which are similar to the HoloLens 2. Let's say Apple prefers to provide a true augmented reality alternative to Google Glass's heads-up display that shows 2D floating notifications or maps. In that situation, a different Wi-Fi connection should be used to connect the Apple Glasses to the iPhone. The iPhone will need a lot more bandwidth than Bluetooth can provide if it needs to process all of the video captured by the Glasses cameras and transmit back the 3D image at a very high frame rate, a minimum of 60Hz, with a refresh rate of 120Hz being optimum. We should anticipate at least three hours of battery life from Apple if it wants to compete. 
Users may, however, be more understanding, particularly if Apple offers a wireless charging glasses cover that can increase the device's usable time during the day, much like the Apple AirPods. Capabilities and battery life, a gadget with a large battery is made possible by the combination of smart displays, wireless communications, microphones, quick computers, and LiDAR. Apple needs to design a wearable device that is both appealing to the eye and functional if they hope to succeed. Apple will have to choose between a host processor and a big battery. Apple can make financial savings in the area of processing power. Smart glasses might, like the first-generation Apple Watch, rely solely on the iPhone for all processing requirements and only display that data. By transmitting data from the phone to the glasses, Apple will significantly reduce the local processing, leaving only the display and sensors to be concerned about. A great example of a little item with a long battery life is Apple AirPods. Despite their small size, the AirPods Pro have a lengthy battery life while using ANC. Apple may have already solved its battery life design problems if the prototype smartphones are as sleek as Prosser claims. The glasses will need to fulfill the client's needs as a piece of technology and fashion. But for many people, they will also need to fulfill a third role. They'll need to function as glasses. Apple's probably going to offer a way to get prescription lenses, but a patent suggests another option it's possible that the lenses themselves might adapt to the wearer. Apple Glasses patents and privacy, Apple's investigating a number of options for alerting bystanders who don't want to be captured on camera about Apple Glass recordings. Apple's considering whether to add a removable camera module. Additionally, the modular accessory would let establishments like nightclubs and theaters accept the HMD frame without the attachment inside the establishments, but forbid the modular accessory. Apple also plans to use LEDs to show whether the gadget's recording, although unlike the previous generation of smart glasses, doing so may result in the camera completely malfunctioning. The camera's lights may pulse in an encrypted pattern, according to the patent, with the lens capturing reflections in the environment being recorded. The recording could be stopped in accordance with the invention, if the camera is unable to identify the pattern. Prosser claims that the current cost of Apple glasses is $499 plus prescription costs. This may seem cost-effective in comparison to other augmented reality headsets like Microsoft's HoloLens 2. The HoloLens 2 costs $3,500 and comes with all the augmented reality equipment desired. On the other hand, the Vuzix Blade has a $799 beginning price. The entry-level Apple smartwatch is considerably less expensive than some of the most expensive models offered by the firm. Apple glasses will be made available after an Apple VR headset, claims Ming-Chi Kuo. While the VR glasses won't be available until 2025, the VR headgear will. Apple will reportedly start selling contact lenses with augmented reality features sometime in 2030 or later, claims Quo. What impact do you think the Apple glasses will have? Will they revolutionize the future? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech content.